dumbass. Have you guys ever borrowed money that you didn't have for shit that you didn't need? <laughs> I bet you did, didn't you? You fucking dumbass. You know, dog, the borrower is slave to the lender. And why the fuck would you want to be a slave? Unless if you're some fucking dumbass. Let me know in the comments below. So the truth is, dog, little ice boy. Many years ago, I did get a credit card, and I purchased a TV at Worst Buy with the damn thing. It's about 900 bucks. Took me a couple months, then a couple months more. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to make the minimum payment at 0% APR. Finally paid that fucking thing off. But I thought to myself, after 18 fucking months, this TV's worth less now. And did I really need this fucking thing in the first place? All great questions to be asked. Although that was only one question, wasn't it? Dumbass. But the thing is, dog, it's stressful when you spread yourself thin, financially speaking. It's stressful as fuck. I think that a lot of us have witnessed something similar to that. Just growing up, you know, it's very common. Very common, especially in the past couple decades, for parents of children to live in such a way. Buy shit they don't need, get new fucking cars new fucking clothes, all this other bullshit. You know, dog, you can go to the resale stores and you can find yourself a pair of jeans for like two to five dollars. Okay? Even if you live in California, you can find the fucking jeans for like six dollars there. It's far less than you'd pay at American Eagle or some shit. And you know, dog, you can find a fucking shirt at those resale stores for like two dollars. Okay? You can go try that shit on even. Two fucking dollars. You some sort of dumbass? Why you paid twenty, thirty, forty dollars for a goddamn shirt? Let me know in the comments below. But, it's stressful, man. I don't know, there are many out there who are in quite deep. Got all this fucking debt. But you know what they say? Some say, anyway, that the only acceptable debt is a home mortgage. Everybody needs a fucking home, dog. And... I mean, the thing is, with a home mortgage, I mean, it's generally fixed interest rates. You know what I'm saying? And a house is one of those things that appreciates in value, especially as the dollar he's, loses its value. And as many world currencies do, all fucking world currencies for that matter. So, man, if you take out a loan for a house, you pay that whole fucking thing off over 30 years, it's likely you're gonna get all that goddamn money back and then some if you sell it in like 10 years after you pay all that shit off or something like that. But uh, in some cases, it's far better. But it's an appreciating asset. Unlike that Ford Focus that costs like $30,000 and in five years that piece of shit 
is going to be valued at about three thousand dollars all right it's a fucking waste of money but ice boy what i did i drive an old ass vehicle man but i'm almost scared to say it i love that fucking vehicle Scared to say because I don't want to get my ass whacked on the road. Things a fucking classic. It's a Toyota Sequoia, 2005. Got it for about five thousand dollars. Just over the past year. Thing drives like a new fucking car. Thing is though, man. That is the most expensive car I've ever owned. Five thousand fucking dollars. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's how you do it, man. And Ice Boy's Vamon drives a forerunner. Toyota Forerunner. Two thousand fucking four. Old as fuck. But those things are told. You got to do your research, man. You got to look that shit up. We did all sorts of fucking research, all right? And there are like models that you got to look out for as well. I mean, first off, narrow down. Find the reliable brands, all right? And do your research on the model and gear. Like with the Sequoias, for example, the 2002s have bad transmissions uh, in proportion to all the other models. So you just don't get the 2002 one, but all the other fucking ones apparently are good to go. And there's differences because there's generations and models, right? And the same applies to the forerunners. Although I don't think there's ever been a bad year for forerunners. Until 2023 where they make that shit all powered by batteries and turbos and all that wacky bullshit. Things are gonna fall apart in a couple fucking years. And you're still gonna have the first, second, third gen, fourth gen, fifth gen forerunners all on the road. But yeah, they're changing shit up in 2023, unfortunately. I love those fucking vehicles, but Fortunately, there'll be a ton of the other ones on the market for a long time. And hopefully enough people out there are stupid enough to buy the new ones. Because then they'll throw all their used ones on the market. And someone like Little Ice Boy could buy that shit up. Because I'm fixing to get me a fifth gen. But the point is, man, of course the forerunners had bad headroom. That's why Daddy needed a Sequoia. I'm tall as fuck. So being tall as fuck, you basically have to really look out for headroom in cars. And the Sequoia had really nice headroom. Uh, that's the thing though, any Sequoia after the year 2008, they have limited headroom. It's fucked up how they decided to make them smaller and shorter. It probably had to do with the fact that they're less likely to flip because they're not as top heavy. So they lowered the fucking ceiling, I think is what they did. It's bullshit. But hey, yeah, dog, them Toyotas are towed. But hang on, man. The whole getting in debt thing and borrowing money thing, it's, uh, as far as I see it, man, it's, it's a nightmare. Living like that, I'd rather drive a shitty fucking car and live in minimal space with minimal things than be in debt. And little ice frog is still paying off his fucking house. Fortunately, I got it. I mean, it was a good fucking deal, man. But this market shot up like it did. Thing is, shit's gonna come down. You know what? What goes up must come down. You know what I'm saying? They stop printing them dollars. They stop putting all that shit on the market. All these fucking things are gonna fall. But that's why, if you're not in debt, you save your fucking money. When shit does go south, like it's going to. You can buy some shit up, man. Hey, yeah, that's what them rich motherfuckers do. That's what them guys way up high do. They, heck, I mean, they're pretty much, they control the fucking market, but they know they save up them shackles and they make that shit crash and they'll buy shit up. But that's why, to a far lesser extent, come on, man. I mean, I just, you know, it's, it's stressful, man. And you never know what's going to happen in life. There's all sorts of variables at play here. All sorts of unpredictability. And I knew that ever since I was a little dog. I watched all this bullshit going on. 
All these folks buying shit with money they don't have. And I know that bad shit happens. That's the thing. You're gonna fucking chip your tooth, you're gonna fucking break your arm, you're gonna get in a car accident, your fucking dryer's gonna go out, your fridge is gonna break, your fucking roof's gonna start to leak. Dude, all this bullshit happens. It's just, it's, it's life, man. You guys know that. So you gotta be prepared, dog. But I mean, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. You gotta be careful with them loans, too. If you marry abroad, who has a big ass student loan, just make sure you're ready for that shit, dog, all right? But, I mean, we all get pussy whipped, is that what you call it? You know, we all get pussy whipped at the beginning, kind of. We're like, oh, I don't give a fuck, dog. Oh, I don't give a fuck if she's 200K in debt. Fuck that, I'm gonna pay this shit off. Couple years, when that little honeymoon phase is over, <laughs> you just might be looking in the mirror, man. Calling yourself a fucking dumbass. I'm just trying to prepare you dogs, but I mean, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And you know, if you was in debt and shit, all I'm saying is, don't get any more debt. Fuck that shit. I mean, Ice Boy's cheap, you guys know. Fuck, I haven't even reproduced. And I know them little tadpoles. They can be a bit expensive, can't they? I know some of you guys have them. But you know, Little Ice Boy played it safe. Thing is though, them little tadpoles, they make you vulnerable in today's day and age, don't they? Cause then you gotta go kiss somebody's ass, work some fucking job you hate. Cause all of a sudden you're not just worried about yourself now and some broad, but you're worried about them little tadpoles too. You gotta go kiss some dude's balls for that shit. Act like you like him. Act like you like going to fucking work, dog. Fuck that. No, it's not always the case, but. Man, my only thing is, that shit makes you vulnerable, don't it? A little ice boy never really wanted to be all that vulnerable. I mean, we are. We're all vulnerable. Unless you just straight up don't give a fuck. Unless you just don't give a fuck about death and all this other shit. And you don't have any ties. Unless you just straight up don't give a fuck. But you know, little ice boy dug himself a little bit of a hole. A little bit of a grave, but so far it ain't all that deep. And I can still chill and enjoy and enjoy. Just sit back and enjoy it. But I mean, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Hell yeah, more videos to come on this shit. Peace be with you.